Alright, so we're looking here at a, a theoretical yield type problem and what we're doing here is it says what is the theoretical yield of 8.00 litres of CO2 gas at STP are formed from a reaction of 100.4 grams of Fe3O4. So what we're looking at here is we've always got a reactant and a product. Now you can always tell because the reactant is going to be on this side of the arrow and the product's going to be on this side. The entire point of the problem is we're trying to figure out how much of the product we're supposed to get from the reactant. Now the reactant is clearly the Fe3O4, so we've got 100.4 grams of that, and we're going to get a certain amount of CO2. I'm going to tell you it's going to be probably more than 8.00 litres of CO2. This is the yield we actually got, but we should have gotten probably a lot more than that. We can figure out exactly how much we should have gotten using the dimensional analysis that we've been talking about. So we're going to start out with the 100.4 grams of uh, Fe3O4 and we're going to figure out then the number of moles of Fe3O4 and the number of moles of CO2 and the unit we're after on the CO2 is also given by the problem as well. We know that we've got 8.00 litres of CO2 actually formed. We're going to have to figure out the litres of CO2 that we're getting from here. So the unit we're looking for here has to match the unit that we're looking for over here as well. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and start this. It will be 100.4 grams of Fe3O4. The first step along the way is we need to find moles, so it will be times, and we'll put grams of Fe3O4 on the bottom to cancel what we've got on top. we we'll have moles of Fe3O4 on top. The relationship between these two, one mole of Fe3O4 is equal to the molecular weight, which is 231.55 grams of Fe3O4. And we know moles of Fe3O4 goes on the bottom, cancel that and we'll have moles of CO2 on top because that's what we need next. The relationship between these, one mole of Fe3O4 is equal to four moles of CO2. We get that from the reaction equation. All right, the next thing we need, we've got moles of CO2 on the bottom and we'll have liters of CO2 on top. Remember we get the liters from the problem because we need to be able to compare these two later. We'll have 22.414 liters of CO2 on top, one mole of CO2 on the bottom. That's going to give us in the end 38.87 liters of CO2. Now this represents the amount of CO2 we should have gotten. We actually only got 8.00 liters. That's what the problem tells us. See the clues here are formed from the reaction. There's another clue that that's a reactant and that's a product. Now uh, just highlighting why we need to have the same units here. If I take the 8.00 liters of CO2 and then try and figure out what the percent yield is based on this one, what I would do is divide these two multiply by 100%, you can see the litres of CO2 will cancel and end up with a percentage that makes, uh, that makes sense. So uh, that's the reason we end up getting what we get.